already. Well, welcome in everybody. If you're here, then that probably means you're as excited as I am for the upcoming winter event that we're getting for Century Age of Ashes. One of the really interesting things about this is they've actually shown us quite a lot before releasing. So we're going to go through that a little bit now, break down what we know and a couple of theories about what's going to be happening as well, just before the events. And this should hopefully be the day before. Alrighty, now uh, I'm going to jump in straight away and just kind of read through some of the announcements we've seen on Discord. So first of all, they have said, yes, we are getting three legendary dragons and they've even showcased all three of them for us so we can actually see the pictures of them onwards past that they've um at the beginning they were basically saying we're also getting a free-for-all mode awesome i can't wait to play in free-for-all uh that is definitely a solo player oriented kind of game mode which i was very heavily um in the beta of the game on top of all of that we are also getting a new variant of a existing map um it is the harbor and this new map has been called the Sarghildian Creek. Maybe I've butchered that. I'm not too sure. You can surely let me know, of course. But yeah, it's going to basically be a, a frozen variant of a, a pre-existing map. It looks really, really nice. There's even a little bit of a hint of fog being throughout it as well. And that looks really interesting. Past that point, we don't really know much about how we're going to be getting everything, but we'll break that down in a little bit more detail. Okay, so first of all, I really want to go past all of the dragons first. They look absolutely incredible. One of the interesting things was they released a little teaser of the first one, which was our phantom, and it just looks so completely different to the normal phantoms we're used to with the ears and everything like that. It even has some weird nose or a snout, some would say. Take a closer look at that snout and um, people have said it looks like a ribbon eel. On top of that, it's got icicle spikes all over it, or just regular spikes, I suppose. And in the first image we saw, of course, we've got our phantom guy sat on the top of it, but he's holding a ice sword, or what looks like an ice sword. It looks very, very cool, and uh, we I, I can't wait to play this one. This is definitely going to be my favorite. The next one I want to talk about is going to be the Marauder. So Mr. Marauder has these gigantic, gigantic horns on the side of his head and also similar to the phantom that we've just seen looks like a bit more of like a slimmed down version in the way of like it's it's it has less of its prominent features across it which is really really interesting on top of that uh we've got just like little tiny spikes all over him and uh not much more than that that we can see lastly the wind guard the wind guard has what i would just say is completely standard wind guard features it looks exactly the same to me as most of the others as well and yeah we're gonna have to wait and see exactly how it looks when you've got like the a full body picture essentially okay now what's been the essentially hot topic of debate throughout all of this is how are we going to get these dragons so we have three legendary dragons and we also found in the bestiary a fourth dragon in the event section so a lot of people have been saying that it's going to be a mixture of the two. Some people are saying, oh, they're probably going to put them all in the shop or they're going to be putting them as some sort of like a reward that you earn as you go through. The free-for-all game mode does seem to be the focus of this event by the looks of it. So I would imagine playing in the free-for-all game mode will get us something earned from that as well. But yeah, talking back about the three legendary dragons, we have seen them under the shop category in the unreleased section, essentially, of Bestiary. However, they do not actually say they're from the shop yet. So they're still up for debate on whether or not they're going to come out in that way. I don't think it is just these three dragons that we are seeing as legendaries as well, and this rare Marauder. I do reckon we are going to get some other cosmetic stuff thrown in, because as we've seen in the picture as well, fingers crossed, we get some sort of cool sword from it as well. All right, and lastly, talking a little bit about the map. So I mentioned I saw fog in some of the pictures. I am hoping there might be some sort of low visibility uh, throughout the free for all mode. Whether it comes in as like a freak event, like a storm, that would be really cool. But um, at the moment, all we really see is just the pictures that we have of the castle. Um, so it is the, from what I can see, especially by the second picture, it looks like the Spores of War Castle to me. And um, that's that's essentially the harbour map. Alrighty. Um, past that, of course, all the water's frozen over and we've got essentially snow capped all, all over the place. It looks really, really nice. What is interesting, Bo, is um, from some of the pictures, I can only see like a little bit of snow here and there on top of the roofs and stuff. We haven't got the castles absolutely blanketed in it. 
Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the wrap-up of the Frost and Fury event that we've got here. I wish you all, hopefully, a lovely event time, Merry Christmas, all of that stuff, and I will be trying my absolute best to throw out as many videos as I possibly can, assuming that I've actually got the time to do so, which I should, as I've got a week off from work. So there you go. I will be streaming on Twitch every single day, pretty much through the events, and we'll be really, really, really going into the free-for-all game mode. I really can't wait to see some of the other Dragoneers across the game uh, playing against me in that, because it's going to be a really interesting test of skill and also how quickly we can adapt to this new game mode as well it's going to be absolutely brilliant i can't wait but again i'm going to be there on twitch every day you can catch me maybe through these times it really depends i'm not too sure we'll have to wait and see but um yes i'll be trying to stream every single day and if you miss the streams i'll be uploading to youtube as frequently as i possibly can all right. Well, I hope to see you all then. Have a lovely Christmas if you are celebrating it and uh, all the best in the event. Good luck. See you then.